guys, it's Chief from Spreadshot Games. Um, I'm making a reply video to Minister Mishkin's channel on um, the greatest gaming disappointments we've ever had. I met this guy before I even started collecting. I think I found this guy's channel through Nintendo Age, and I just uh, when I started collecting when I made my channel, um, I checked his out. I'm subscribed to him. You guys should check him out. He's really good. Um, he does some cool pickup videos. Uh, he's got nice advice for people starting to collect but he he's doing this in celebration of his 200 subscribers that he's got so and his question was what's your biggest gaming disappointment and for me i'm gonna go with time splitters if you remember that game we got a promise of a time splitters 4 on next gen consoles and it just never happened. It fell through. Um, I really, really like Time Splitters. Two and three were great games. Um, if you never played them, they're just really, really fun first person shooters with jam packed full of gameplay, decent storyline that's fun to play. But I just remember playing with my younger brother and my older brother. Um, the first time we ever played, it was just my older brother playing, and he was playing like you could get bots in that game and just play against bots. You didn't have to play online. But he was playing, and most of the guys that you're fighting against are like standard people going around and stuff like that, shooting at other humans or alien-looking people or guys in suits and stuff. And then all of a sudden, this humanoid duck walks across the screen. And I'll never forget... My brother, Jonathan, just going, is that a duck? And then he got up closer and started shooting. He goes, that's a fucking duck. And, like, from that point on, I was sold. Like, the game has tons of great weapons, lots of fun, tons of characters, tons of game modes. And with it not coming out, it's kind of sad because it shows where shooters have gone. And the, they're very, very... We're, we're, the industry is getting pushed into a corner um it seems with with shooters just every everything so highly competitive and uh just based off you know more more realism they time splitters was unique because it took it brought fun into it um and just silliness and not to say that shooters today aren't fun but they're very very you know competitive with just it's KD ratio, you know, kill streaks, whatever, you know, it's all about just, it's so competitive, and you know, your biggest, you know, culprit, right, right there, but, I mean, going back to Time Splitters, it had so much just uniqueness to it, um, we really need to get back to that, like, back in the old Quake days, like, it, you didn't, it didn't worry about balance, there was characters with big heads, short characters, big characters, fat characters. You know, I remember back in the day, like, with Quake, you could be an eyeball running on robot legs and stuff like that. And, like, when you shot people with the beam rifle, you go, excellent. And, like, like, what happened to that? Like, you know, I think Halo is kind of bringing it back with Halo 4, you know, the announcer and stuff. It seems like in Halo 4 you're getting, like, flag assassination. And, like, that's just, it's, it's kind of cool. It throws a little bit of fun into it. But, you know, it was less about, it was less about balance and fairness and more just about having a good time, which I think is missing today. And that's like, that's why I'm kind of disappointed is we don't see that anymore. Um, you know, Turok Rage Wars was another great game where there was like a swarm of teddy bears. Like you could pick a swarm of teddy bears and fight and it had a gun that you could shoot and it would make the guy fat until he exploded. And then, um... There was a gun that you could charge up, shoot it, and it infected the dude with like a snake and a chest burster thing would come out of him. Like, that, you know, you just don't get that in like competitive multiplayer anymore. And that's, that's what I miss. And I know Crytek, the guys who made Crisis or whatever, they bought the license to Time Splitters. I'm hoping, praying that they come out with that game. But that's probably my biggest disappointment is that we, we just 
we've lost our fun in the shooters, and I really think the market could do for a game that's not based so much on, you know, scoring and KD and more about just shooting the shit and having a good time. What it comes down to, I just want to shoot a duck in the face with a flare gun, and that's all. Chief signing out. Have a good one.